Hey guys, it's Crimson Knight. Today I'm going to show you the new Ezio skin. I'll do a breakdown of the trailer and the Warrior's Den, and I'm going to let you guys know all the features that it has. Right here, it looks like they're bringing back the execution where Kries and Pache, which they had that before in a different Assassin's Creed event. So if you didn't get it before, now you can. Right here is the new Dominion map, which I'll be going over in one of my next videos. Overall, that looked like a really good trailer, and I'm really excited for the Ezio skin. Now let's take a look at the new features in the Warrior's Den. We textured everything. The face is original, uh, the weapons are original, they're all based off of things that were in Assassin's Creed, and we're really very proud of how it turned out. Yeah, I think this is the H-est and the D-est that uh, Ezio has ever, ever been. Um, so it's, it's really cool to see uh, Mr. Aratore in, in For Honor and, and looking, uh, looking sharp looking crispy i really love the design of the skin it matches super well with assassin's creed but it also has a mix of Ferrana in it which i really like about it uh so uh amelie what makes this skin special so special to yeah. the world of Ferrana? uh so for uh, for me i really wanted for the player to feel like uh, they're experiencing um uh, Ezio, like we always have in, uh, in uh, Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. So it was really to uh, investigate in the, um, how it was uh, portrayed in this game. So I, make, uh, I watch a lot of references of the old game and, um, and we talk about uh, with the mocap actor um, that worked on Assassin's Creed before. And we come to the conclusion that the best thing to change was the navigation. So like all new character, we went to mocap, we shoot some uh, new animation uh, for the walk, the jug, the idle and the sprint and then integrate it to the game. Um, uh, so uh, the, the, be the best challenge was to um, keep the animation of Peacekeeper and uh, Ezio and merge them together because uh, we keep in the combat system like we see here. So it's staying the same. So uh, everything's going to be uh, uh, the same for him, except for the drop attack. So the drop attack is going to be unique to him. Yo, I really, really like how he has his own unique movement when he walks and runs. And I love how his fighting style will be the same because she fights very athletically and very smoothly, so it'll make him look really cool with it. Uh, and it's Ooh. gonna save for him forever. Like we can see here, it's very cool with a blade, so uh, it's very fun. And uh, a new thing too is the Assassin's Creed 2 animation style was like a bit old, so it was a very uh, hard challenge to like integrate it to a foreigner universe with our motion matching system. So uh, I think we did a pretty good job with it. Um, the next thing that we changed was the uh, some unique execution, emote, and signature. Uh, we adjust a lot of hand position, contact, and we add a little uh, as you uh, feeling to them as well. Uh, thanks to Michelle for the help as well. And uh, for uh, for us, it was our first uh, gender swap hero skin. So I think uh, we did a pretty good job with that, and I'm really happy uh, to uh, for you to try it. So in this event, everyone will be able to do the drop down assassination for a few weeks. But only Ezio will have it forever, which will be really cool. I really like how they adjusted the body animation for Ezio and Peacekeeper. Like all hero skins, you'll be able to change the color and material. However, there is a color that is the default color for the skin that is specific to Ezio. So this is also kind of like a first for us. So um, if, if you want the white and the red in, there, in those specific hues, that is only available to the Ezio skin. Uh, so even if you buy the skin on Peacekeeper, that uh, that color uh, combo and in those specific hues will only be there on the Ezio uh, hero skin. And so uh, they, they look really great, and it's a nice way for us to make sure that the skin always has that, that unique thing that is only there for it. Um, and But yeah, be sure to check out the skin because it drops next week. Uh, it'll be available for $14.99 US or uh, 31 250 steel. I really love how we'll have different options to customize and change the colors and patterns of the skin 
and usually most skins are 25,000 coins, but this time it's going to be 31,250 steel. But I think it's because they put a lot more time and effort into this skin. So it makes sense that way. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I'm really looking forward to the new Ezio skin. Write down in the comments if you guys are excited as well. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And share with your friends. And I'll see you in the next video.